Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Director Light Commercial Vehicles and Sales Operations, Nissan North America, Tiago Castro. I'm very pleased to be here today with you in Texas. Thanks for joining us today for this world debut of the Nissan Titan, the new Titan. We're calling it the new Titan because it is more than a mid-cycle facelift. We've invested $230 million to make this Titan better in every way. Because this sun is fully invested and investing in trucks. This includes both Nissan trucks and commercial vehicles. In fact, the MV van, our large van, just had its best August ever, with sales up 77% over previous year. And our MV200 in model year 2020 will be the first van in its class to offer standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, displayed in the largest screen in this segment. Just another example of our continuous investment in these trucks. Now, for our 2020 Titan, we're focusing our investment on a Titan lineup, with emphasis on models like our popular Pro 4X that you see right here. By streamlining our Titan lineup, we can concentrate our engineering efforts on fewer versions, and we can deliver more advanced models. Now, models that can no compromise, that have no compromise, compromise whatsoever. There's no better example of no compromise than this new 2020 Titan. This uncompromised capability, uncompromised technology, including safety, and of course, <coughs> uncompromised quality. It all starts with a bold design, a design with attitude to spare. The look is more confident, connected, and excited than ever before. It's starting with the front end. There's a new grille, new front bumper, LED fog lamps, and how about these headlamps? The headlights feature unique double boomerang LED daytime running lights. Those are the brightest we have ever offered. In the rear, there are new signature LED tail lights and new tailgate finishers. Now, as for natural lighting in the cab, the 2020 Titan features a huge new panoramic dual panel moonroof. And because customers told us they want more differentiation in how their trucks look, different Titan models get their own look with unique colors, grill finishes, and wheel designs. By the way, these are the two Titan's new colors, Baja Storm and Carnal Red Metallic. Now, in addition to design, our customers care about power. The new Titan is the only light duty pickup with 400 horsepower standard. That's standard horsepower, not a, not a model upgrade, and it's best in class. Along with 400 horsepower, Titan's 5.6 liter Endurance V8 is now also rated 413 pound-feet of torque, which is also best in class and makes Titan the only light duty pickup to offer that much torque standard. All that power is delivered through a nine-speed automatic transmission with a larger final gear ratio. That means more torque at the wheels and better acceleration. Now, for example, acceleration from 50 to 70 miles per hour has been improved almost a full second. Now, what about technology? The new Titan is a showcase for Nissan intelligent mobility. When it comes to tech that really customers want, the new Titan has the largest standard screen, by far in its class, at eight inches. 
and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard. There's also a new integrated command center with a high resolution 9 inch display is standard on Pro 4X, SL, and Platinum Reserve. This new integrated command center is the gateway to our enhanced next generation Nissan connected services, including an internal Wi Fi router, over the air software updates, the ability to show Google Street View, which is actually really cool. There's also available concierge services. Now, we are also offering more tech, including available intelligent cruise control, intelligent driver alertness, intelligent forward collision warning, plus traffic sign recognition, among many others. Now, earlier, I mentioned non-compromising safety. It starts with Nissan Safety Shield 360, standard across the entire lineup. Safety Shield 360 is the only system that provides both forward and reverse automatic emergency braking. And now, it's standard. We also have eight airbags versus the previous six, and four seat belt pretensioners versus the previous two. This one's for your gooseneck trailer. It's from Gen Y Hitches. It's called the Cushion Surge Coupler. Torsion Flex. So it's kind of like a torsion axle on a, on a tra horse trailer. Gen Y hitches. All you have to do is look at them. They're built like a bulldozer. It's all heavy duty plate metal. Make them adjustable hitches, pencil hitches, shock absorbing hitches with torsion, like a torsion axle on a horse trailer. These things will last you forever. You cannot find a better built adjustable hitch. State Fair of Texas. Right, so let's start talking about trucks. Uh, at Chevrolet, we know there are a lot of truck customers out there. There's different truck customers with different wants, different needs. And I like to say that we pride ourselves on offering differentiated products and choices for all these truck customers. And we see this as a real competitive advantage for Chevrolet. You might call me biased, but when we take a look on the screen here at this truck lineup, I do think, I'd like to say, it is the best truck industry, or truck lineup in the industry. It all starts with the mid-size Colorado, our Silverado, our all-new Silverado HD, and our Silverado Medium Duty, which ranges from 4,500 to 6,500 HD. So here we have the Silverado and the Silverado Heavy Duty. It's what we like to call the Silverado franchise. And it's been a big year for the franchise as we launch both of these trucks, and there's certainly more to come, so that's where we're going to spend most of our time here today. Now, I know most of you have been to our events in the past and stay on top of everything truck throughout the truck world, but I did want to start with just a little refresher on the main pillars of our trucks. First, I mentioned Choice uh, just a few moments ago. The Light Duty offers eight distinct trims for all those customers out there offering 50 industry first, which makes it the strongest and most advanced Silverado ever. New for this year, we do offer the choice of six great powertrains, 
We have our DuraBed, which offers best-in-class standard cargo bed volume and a slew of great features. And then last, but certainly not least, very impressive trailer and capability and technology. Now you see some similar strategies here with Silverado Heavy Duty. So we have five distinct trims here in this space, 12 class exclusives, two great new powertrains, once again, the DuraBed, and then of course, our impressive trailering capability and technology. So when you take a look at both light duty and heavy duty, both have great strengths in terms of capability and technology. Specifically, when you look at capability, you think of max towing and best in class towing. That's all about the raw power and brute strength of these trucks. And on the technology side, this is what helps deliver an overall confident towing experience to all of our customers. And these are a couple of the main messages that you'll see come to life throughout our go-to-market plan as we go forward. So let's start here with HD. You take a look at this. This is our 3,500 HD diesel, one ton, best-in-class towing at 35,500 pounds. Now, I know you might uh, see a, a bigger number out there later today, um, but it's important to keep in mind that this competitor just might need a medium-duty truck to get there. In Silverado HD, definitely not a one-hit wonder. When you take a look at all of our diesel dualies, each can tow more than 30,000 pounds. This is something the competition cannot say and cannot do. And the great news continues in the light duty space as well. You take a look at our Silverado double cab with the 6.2, best in class towing. So 13,400 pounds, which is an improvement versus last year. Now here, I just talked a lot about max towing and best in class towing. We know that's important because our customers do tow a lot and they do tow often. But most of us know that can really just turn, turn into a numbers game. What really matters to customers, and I, and I can personally attest to this, is an overall confident towing experience. Things like performance, handling, stopping, cooling. And these are the things that, that, that I, as a, uh, as, as a, uh, as a towing uh, truck owner, want, and our customers do as well. Additionally, what they've told us is that safety, confidence, and visibility are very important to them as well. So these are a few things that you'll see Chevrolet focus on as we go forward. A huge part of this is our camera technology. So we do offer up to eight available cameras in both Silverado light duty and heavy duty with uh, a class leading 15 camera views. I'm proud to say that Silverado offers more cameras and views than any other competitor. So let's take a look and see how this all works out. We have six cameras that are built into or integrated into the truck itself. We have our front grill cam. We have a camera in each of the outside rear view mirrors, two in the chimsel, and one built in the, into the tailgate bezel. We have two additional accessory cameras that are meant to be mounted in the trailer and on the trailer. So in the trailer, you can take a look at your prized possessions. So you've got a real peace of mind as you're trailering to be able to press a button and check on whether it's your classic car, your race car, your show horses, or your livestock. You can check on that. And then, of course, we've got the other accessory camera to mount to the rear of the trailer. And it's, it's something to be said to be able to see what's out behind you in that uh, would be a big blind spot. So with this, we do have the six and the two cameras working together to deliver our eight available cameras, and they deliver upon the 15 camera views that you can see here. Now, I'm not gonna take you through each of these, but I do wanna point out those that are highlighted in red, because those are views that can stay on the, uh, the display screen during the, uh, the entire trailering experience. We've worked with the Federal Department of Transportation to, to get this approved, so we can provide more visibility, more safety, and more confidence to those who are towing throughout their entire trip. Now what I'd like to do is just share a couple of my favorite views with you. First being the rear side view with biasing. And what this does is this takes a look down the, uh, both sides of your truck and your trailer. So that really helps to eliminate blind spots and lets you see what's down the side of what you're towing. As you can see, the, the screen itself will begin to bias 
once you put in a steering input or activate your turn signal. So it will go to that subject side of the vehicle to provide greater visibility. So think about trying to maneuver around an obstacle or avoid one of those pesky curves that, uh, that a lot of us seem to hit as, as we're cutting the corner. Uh, next, I wanted to share with you invisible trailer. So, so you may have seen this, and, and I do want to point out that this is a second exclusive technology um, that we have. But this view comes together by stitching together multiple camera views to project what's behind the trailer on the face of either your box trailer or your camper trailer. So you can see it allows you to see a full rear view while still keeping tabs on where your trailer is at immediately behind you. So hopefully you can, uh, you can see here that these are some of the things that we're focused on in terms of an overall confident towing experience. And we're gonna bring these alive into our go-to-market messages. All right, well, uh, another great feature that you saw uh, in that spot is our segment first head-up display. So this displays additional critical driver information on the lower portion of the windshield. Um, and I guess when you take a look at this, there is something to be said about keeping your eyes on the road and hands on the wheel when you're when you've got 30,000 pounds behind you or when you're articulating kind of turns off road uh, as seen here uh, in this visual. Now, I know there's a lot of screen talk out there and uh, you know, there is a competitor of ours that does offer a 12 inch screen. But with Silverado, I, I do want to say that we are proud of our triple screen strategy. So we've got our eight inch uh, color touch screen in the center stack, our eight inch DIC in the cluster, as well as now our 15 inch multicolor head up display. So now just a quick shout out for, for HD. You can see it's bigger, it's bolder, has, has strong, it's stronger, it has some, some very great um, bold looks to it. It is our strongest and most capable Silverado HD ever. I want to spend a little time here on the powertrains. I mentioned these earlier, but these are these are all new powertrains that we have in the Silverado HD. It starts with our 6.6 gas engine. So this is a new power plant. The demand for this engine has been great thus far. So the dealer orders are coming in, the customer orders are coming in, and we're very pleased with that. Taking a look at our Duramax diesel, it has gotten better because it is now mated with the exclusive Allison 10-speed automatic transmission. One thing to point out here with this powertrain that we are very proud of is the fact that with our 110s, we can put all of the 910 pound-feet of the torque to the ground in first gear to get you going when you're, when you're pulling a heavy load. Next, just wanted to spend a moment here on functional design. You know, a lot of thought went into this truck for our truck customers um, as it was coming together from the ground up. You know, I want to start out by pointing out the Duramed. I think most of you are familiar with all of its great features and benefits. Um, one thing different here with the HD has to do with the bed wall height. The bed wall height of our HDs is actually lower than it is on our lower, uh, on our, uh, our light duty trucks. And that was done specifically for fifth wheel of gooseneck towing. We have better clearances to avoid what could be any complications as you're towing especially in the fifth, with fifth wheel scenarios, any inclines, any twisting, which could create uh, uh, situations where you may have some body damage. So something to think about there is some of the small details that we like to, to identify and work through for our customers. We have our segment exclusive power up tailgate. So a gr another great feature to think about as you're, as you're hooking up a trailer, uh, the ability to back up to it with all your full camera technology drop the gate, hook up, and then actually bring the gate back up. We have our quarter step bumpers on Silverado, as you know. Very well received, our customers love them. We actually built upon that for the Silverado HD. We now include standard and integrated side bed step front of the rear wheels for easier bed access. So whether you're going in there to get tools, whether you're going in there to hook up chains on your gooseneck trailer, it does ease that task for our HD customer. We've made some improvements in terms of our diesel exhaust fluid system, so both with our location of filler as well as our gauging. And then last but not least here, as we look to do more in the fleet and commercial space, we are offering a factory installed power takeoff on that Allison 10 speed. So uh, a lot of great uses there, especially like in the vocational spaces. 
So next we're going to move forward into light duty. So our strongest, most advanced civil ride weapon. Here for the 20 model year, we do have the three liter Duramax diesel. Um, I can tell you um, from personal experience, this is a great powertrain. It's very efficient, very capable. Uh, the, the torque being generated by, the, by this power plant is, is, is just something you really need to experience for yourself. Uh, knowing I was coming here to speak to you today, I have been monitoring my fuel economy over this past week. I've been driving it as I do as my every daily driver. And I can tell you, I averaged 35.3 miles per gallon in my Silverado LTZ four-wheel drive just with regular daily driving. I was no, no special care for uh, on, on, the, on the throttle. It was driven just as I do. So you can see the slide up here it says 33 highway miles per gallon. This is what we do have from uh, the, the EPA. It is the best fuel economy we've ever offered uh, in Silverado. And we think it will earn us the claim as the most fuel efficient truck in America as we go forward. That little context there, a little reference um, this full-size truck does offer greater highway fuel economy than, than many family sedans. So you think of some vehicles out there like the Fusion, the Accord, the Sonata, the Optima, you've got a full-size truck that will deliver a greater fuel economy. So something to think about there. Uh, also new for 20, we have stuffed our 6.2 into more models. So we've got it uh, now available in our uh, LT Trail Boss, our Custom Trail Boss, and our RST, and this has helped us earn a couple of accolades as well. So you look at Custom Trail Boss, it is the most affordable truck on the market that delivers over 400 horsepower, and with the RST in terms of capability, which I touched upon, that best in class point, 13,400 pounds. Uh, next, some additional model year updates here for 20 has to do with our technology. So our enhanced trailering uh, tech. Most of this I took you through already, but this is all about our eight cameras, our 15 views, and our advanced technology, uh, trailer technology system. In addition, we are also now offering adaptive crews as well as enhanced infotainment with Sirius XM 360. So lastly for 20 here in the light duty space, we are enhancing our lineup as well with the addition of special editions. So today, I'm proud to introduce to you the first look at the all-new Midnight Edition. This is available on the LT Trail Boss trim, as well as the custom Trail Boss trim. We'll focus here on some specifics with the LT Trail Boss. It starts with the 420 horsepower, 6.2 liter V8, and then it's blacked out from there. So think about our black badging, the black grill, the bow ties, the bumpers, the black exhaust tips, our black off-road assist step, and then also our specific uh, high-intensity LED headlamps here with dark bezels. And just a note, you can get it with the 18s as seen here or an available 20-inch black wheel as well. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the new Rally Edition further down on my right. So this is available in both the RST and Custom Trim levels. Um, each of them feature black rally stripes on the hood and the tailgate black Chevrolet lettering within the tailgate, black badging, black bow ties, assist steps, black exhaust, and then as seen here, a 20-inch wheel on the Custom and a 22-inch wheel on the RST. And with your RST, you have a choice of powertrains ranging from your 6.2 V8 to your 5.3 V8 to the 2.7 liter turbo. And with our Custom Rally, that is standard width and only available with our sporty 2.7 liter turbo engine. So now you may, you may ask, well, well, why special editions? And, and the reason is they, they play an important role for us here at Chevrolet. I mentioned choice earlier, and this is another way for us to offer more choice out there for every truck customers. It continues to add excitement to the Silverado portfolio, and we know our truck customers like to personalize their vehicles. So this is that first step in personalization for those customers, and it's coming right from the factory. Lastly, these are proven product executions for us. We know from our history with special editions that they do good things. So in terms of sales, they are delivering on sales, both with loyal customers, bringing new customers to the brand, and also bringing a younger buyer to the brand as well. 
and we'll think we'll be able to do that with these execution as well. Specifically, since we'll be offering them on our value trim levels with the custom and custom trail loss, and then also uh, uh, making them available on our mid trim levels as well with the LT trail loss and the RST. So we are introducing the, these here to you today. Uh, we plan to announce pricing and start taking dealer orders next month, and then expect to see them uh, arriving at dealerships later this year. So with this, I've taken you through many of the Silverado franchise strengths here today. And I just want to let you know that we are prepared and poised to continue leveraging those strengths as we go forward and we battle and win in the truck space. So with that, that does conclude my prepared content uh, for this morning.